What's going on guys, Ali Nadam here again with another quick tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about phasing issues. So phasing issues, to simply put, are when your sound is way too wide. When it goes beyond the width threshold so that it's no longer heard, it will create problems when you put it in the center channel. So if you put your song or individual components in mono, they may become unheard or they might be completely mute, you know, like you'll get problems and I'll explain better explain by showing you a song I made years ago. And during that time, I wasn't really paying attention to phasing. I was just making stuff how how it seemed fit to me. So I'm going to show you using an imager and I'm going to play back the song, the original song, but then I'm also going to put it in mono. This is the uh, party rock anthem remix I made years ago. And I'm going to play it back. Now, if you guys are wearing headphones, you will understand what's going on. If you're not wearing headphones, you're going to hear the problem both originally and when I put it in mono because uh, most cell phone speakers are in mono. So you'll immediately know the problem that I'm talking about. So I have isotope imager here and uh, we will see the phasing issue in real time. So let's go ahead and play it. Every day I'm shuffling. So you heard that is that that little yeah, yeah and it went in the red. So let's go back to that. And it goes way too wide. The polarity, it's in the negative. And when it's in the negative, that's when it can be a problem. Now you can correct this and you would probably have to uh, correct this at the mixing stage. So if you have a sound like that bass sound, if you have a sound like that, you would fix it by just making it more center. You would remove the width. Um, there are a variety of VSTs. You can also do it natively in FL Studio. Each channel rack will have knobs where you can make things more merged. There's also the Fruity Stereo Shaper or Fruity Stereo Enhancer, which are zero latency plugins that can shape the sound and correct that. It can correct so that in the mix down stage, in the mastering stage, you won't have that. but I ignored it. So let's show you because now we can get an idea. When I was playing this song live years ago, I was surprised that that sound was muted. When I was playing back the track, I just didn't hear it. So let's show you what I'm talking about. Now watch as that sound, this sound here, watch as that sound becomes invisible, basically inaudible when we put the track in mono. So we got the track basically in mono now and now have a listen. So you see that because it went in the negative, basically inaudible. It's as if I left silence. Now, <laughs> some people might be like, oh, that's cool. He put like a, a quiet part for the track with just the kick and whatnot, but it wasn't intended. It was accidental. And this can be really bad, guys, if you have leads or like a, a bass patch that's constantly. Luckily, it was just this one sound. However, it kept, you know, happening anytime that sound would play. And if we reset this back to stereo, you can see that definitely is problematic. Again, how you can correct that would be definitely at the mix down stage. It would be tough. It would be a pain in the ass to do it um, to an already mixed file because then you're messing with the characteristics of everything as a whole. You want to isolate that sound get it on an individual instance, throw on something like Stereo Shaper, Stereo Enhancer, even Isotope Imager, and uh, take care of that. Make it more centered in the mix, and you can fix those phasing issues. I would recommend using something like this. The Isotope Imager gives you a lot of good feedback. Generally speaking, you can use anything. Um, it's sometimes hard to know with headphones, but just double check with some sort of spectrum analyzer. And nonetheless, I just wanted to drop my two cents, show you what phasing looks like and what phasing sounds like, especially when you put it in mono. That's when really bad phasing can become inaudible. So guys, pay attention to your phasing. 
be aware of it um, during your whole process. When I work on songs, I'm conscious of mixing. I work much like Dyro. I do my mixing during the production stage, during the arrangement stage. So those decisions you make and the uh, caution you practice will make sure that you have a mix down master that eliminates that because then it can be problematic for systems that play back on mono systems. You know, maybe you're in a club that has very like lower end systems or mono PA speakers that does happen and you don't want to have your stuff completely inaudible. So hope you guys liked this short video just talking about phasing. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about phasing issues, how to correct them, or just anything in general, whatever you guys want to talk about. I love reading your comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial or the next vlog. Until then, keep making them gains.